Hi everybody, my name is Fellow Blake from the Fellow Kamash channel, and on today, I will be doing a movie review on Toy Story 4. And I saw the movie Toy Story 4 last night, but before we talk about Toy Story 4, I want to talk about my thoughts on Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Starting, of course, with Toy Story 1. We all know this is a good film. We all know this is one of Pixar's best. And... Yeah, this one's a classic. I mean, if... I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen Toy Story. I mean, come on, who hasn't seen Toy Story? It's a really great movie. So yeah, I've watched this multiple times when I was a kid and same thing with number two, but um, so Toy, so Toy Story 1, I really liked the story plot and this was back in 1995 and I really liked the, um, the animation in that movie. It was pretty good. Yeah, pretty classic animation. Well, this was in the 90s. 1995 so it makes sense yeah the characters are pretty relatable and the soundtrack was pretty good yep so on a score of one to five i give this a five out of five now talking about toy story 2 now this one got great reviews too some people did not like it as much as one and three some people think this is better than the first one but i think this this is a great movie, and I think it's as good as the first movie. So my thoughts on Toy Story 2, I think the story plot was pretty good about, like, how Buzz and the gang trying to save Woody from a greedy collector named Al, the, um, the chicken guy in the suit. The, the guy in the chicken suit. <laughs> uh, can't talk. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, the story plot was pretty good, and the new characters, I mean, the characters that are introduced in this movie like um Jesse Bullseye and Wheezy and all that stuff. Yep. I think they had the charm too, um in in this movie. Yeah. And the soundtrack was pretty good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, again it's the Randy Newman soundtrack. Of course, Randy Newman um did the soundtrack for Toy Story One, Two, Three and Four. <laughs> I mean, makes sense to me. I mean it's Toy Story. <coughs> so so yeah, I think this is a great movie. I mean, if you haven't seen Toy Story 2, I recommend you watch this one. And on a scale of 1 to 5 stars, I'll also give it a 5. I think it's as good as the first one. Now I'm going to talk about Toy Story 3. Now, Toy Story 3, I don't think it's as good as 1 and 2. I mean, there's been a lot of changes in this movie. I mean, with Andy going to college and the toys are in a crisis, like... Are they going to be thrown away, or are they going to be donated, or are they going to go up to the attic? And in this story plot, Woody is going to go to college with Annie, but Woody and his friends accidentally end up in in Sunnyside daycare, and and so they need to get back to Andy, so so Woody can go to college with Andy, and Annie can put his other toys in the attic. And, I'm sorry, I know you can hear a train out there. I mean, overall, the story plot was, it was good. Not as good as the first two. I mean, it's, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. It's just not my number one taste. And, and I liked some of the characters and the villain. Lots of I have mixed feelings. I mean, one, he's, a, he's mean and evil. I mean... But he has like a good backstory, like in the movie, when um Chuckles tells Woody about lots of backstory. And if you've seen this movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, overall, still a great movie, pretty pretty watchable too. And on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give this like a three point five. <laughs> three, get it? <laughs> Toy Story three out of five. <laughs> but I'm gonna just go with three point five. Now I'm going to talk about Toy Story 4. So, the story plot in Toy Story 4, um, Bonnie and her parents are going on a vacation in an RV, and she decides to bring her arts and craft project toy called Forky, and Woody has to make sure nothing happens to Forky, like Forky doesn't go wander off in trash cans and all that stuff. And then, one night Forky escapes the RV, and then Woody has to go save him, and then Woody has to bring Forky back to the um, to back to Bonnie, 
and the RV. Yeah. And then as they were walking by, they passed through an old antique store and Woody saw Bo Peep's um, lamp and thought she might be there. But then, and then some dolls like Gabby Gabby and the Bensons took Forky and Woody um, escaped and then, then eventually he found Bo and then Woody want, wants Bo's help to, um, as help to um, get Forky free from the antique store and then return him back to Bonnie. And that's basically the story plot of the movie. And my thoughts on this movie, um, it's not as good as the first two, but it's better than number three, in my opinion. And I really liked how Bo Peep made a returning in that movie after, um, in Toy Story, around in Toy Story 3, she got, um, she, um, got donated, um, to, um, yeah, she left Woody and the gang, like, I mean, if you've seen the, if you already seen Toy Story 4, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, the beginning of the Toy Story 4 took place around, like, when, um, some toys were donated or... And there's like a few toys around. I mean, of course, Toy Story 4 took place after number three. But anyways, so, I mean, overall, I think the story plot was pretty good. And I don't want to spoil too much about like, I don't want to spoil the, the ending. And I really liked the, the new characters like Ducky and Bunny. They were really funny. And there were also some good characters too, like Duke and Boom. Officer Giggle McDimple. Yeah, that's her name. And I'm, and I'm happy we finally get to see Bo Peep's sheep again. The three-headed sheep. Billy Goat Gruff. <laughs> and yeah, I recommend you watch Toy Story 4. I mean, is it my favorite Toy Story 4? Well, no. Is it better than number three? Yes, in my opinion. Would I want to watch it again? Yes, especially in 3D, because I, I mean, I'm planning sometime maybe to watch it in 3D because, well, I like to watch Disney movies in 3D. But yeah, overall, I give it a recommend. It got great reviews. It's really funny. And and another thing, we all know like the characters Slinky, Ham, Rex, and the Potato Heads. Some of them didn't have much speaking roles in the movie, but at least they got some screen time. And of course, Jessie, um, she had a bit of some screen and sp speaking time on in the movie. I mean, of course, Woody and Buzz, they got a lot of screen time. I mean, of course, they're the main characters. It makes sense. But so, yeah, overall, Toy Story 4, I, on a scale of one to five stars, I'll give it a four. <laughs> Toy Story 4 out of five. So thank you for watching my movie review and I'll see you all next time. Bye.